Welcome back to Crux Puzzles HQ. The days are starting to lengthen here and I for one am loving it. Today we are taking a look at two puzzles to celebrate 40 years of Hanayama making metal puzzles. So Hanayama, if you're unaware, are a Japanese company and they make small kind of pocket sized puzzles like this one. The main aim of them is to disassemble and then reassemble them. This one's just two pieces, fairly simple, but a really cool satisfying puzzle. And they come in lots of different variations. As you can see behind me here, we've got a few. This is not all of them. And they rate them in difficulty between one and six stars. So one being the simplest, something like this one, the loop, and six stars being a grandmaster level of difficulty. The two we've got here today are cast Tube and Medallion. So Tube came out in 2022. Medallion is a limited re-release to celebrate the 40 years of them making the puzzles. I think this one has been released possibly a thousand copies, if my memory serves me correctly. Both ranked as five out of six stars of difficulty. So expecting a bit of a challenge with these ones. So let's take a closer look and try Tube. So the Tube is a pretty cool puzzle. Looking wise, this is very contemporary. It's got this darker shell casing. And on the inside, we've got these silver pieces that you have to try and extract from the outer casing. So very simple puzzle. There's not much to it. The pieces will slide up and down within that casing. And you can tell there is two pieces there, but you can't actually seem to get them to separate to start with. There is a little bit of a clue to some of these pieces and we are going to have a look at the solution for this one. So if you don't want to know the solution, if that's going to ruin it for you, I would recommend you don't watch too much further. But if we hold these pieces in the middle and give the outer casing a little rotation, it doesn't need to be much, not even 90 degrees perhaps, those pieces are now locked in place in the center there. So that's the first clue. You've got some kind of grooves on the pieces and it's locking into something. You rotate it a little bit more and the pieces will then freely slide up and down again. We've also got on this side written tube and a circle and a little indent on that other side. So what we need to do to solve this one is to get those silver pieces to the outside. We do that by spinning, obviously the classic puzzle move, and you've now positioned the two silver pieces to the outside. I don't know whether this is an intentional clue or not, but there is a little circle beside the tube here, and I feel like that is giving you a little bit of a hint as to what to do here. So we've got the pieces to the outside, but you cannot touch them without causing them to go further inside the tube. So you can't manipulate those pieces once you've got them to the outside with your fingers. We need to manipulate them in another way. And to do that, what we're gonna do is just roll that puzzle along a surface. And if you do that a few times, you can extract the pieces. And then you can see exactly what's going on. There's these grooves on the pieces and you can see that they would lock in within the tube where there's some little grooves on the silver pieces that fit into these little, um, protrusions on the inside that locks it in place so you rotate it a little bit more and it's got this gap where it can move and once we've separated them out to the outside then we can rotate them follow the grooves around until it's completely released so that's the tube puzzle a very cool solution i'm not sure how difficult this is it's rated as five out of six difficulty i think it is pretty challenging if you've not tried these kind of puzzles before i think it might keep people stumped for a pretty long time if this is the first puzzle you've picked up all in all though I really like this one, very cool, contemporary, and a bit of a unique solution to it. Next up, we have the medallion puzzle. So this one is a re-release of a puzzle that was originally released a few years ago. It's been re-released for the 40 year anniversary. The aim is to try and remove the gold disc on this side, and we've got the silver disc on this side. As you'll notice, the observant above you, there is a maze on both sides, and we've got to solve not one, not two, but four mazes simultaneously. So you can see the extraction points here are pretty obvious, and the outer casing opens up to get you started. And we've got to presumably get this outer casing further and further apart so we can get these into the position that we can remove the discs. But we've got to solve the four mazes simultaneously. So you probably guess that means a lot of dead ends, backwards moves, getting stuck, moving one part of the maze backwards in order to get the other part of the maze forwards. So all in all, a pretty tricky puzzle, but if you enjoy this kind of style, definitely one to check out. Let's get into the solution for this one now. The medallion puzzle. I think this one is probably a little bit trickier. We've obviously got these mazes to solve simultaneously. The housing needs to be moved correctly on both sides of the puzzle in order to be able to um, extract it. So you can rotate. You can obviously see if I want to move this down here, I need to be able to move this one up there on the puzzle, like so. Um, and then the housing also needs to be in the correct position. So that it might work that the housing is in the right position 
to move these ones, but on the other side, it might not be correct. So my attempt for this, it would just be brute force, but let's take a look at the solution for this one. So if you're struggling, you can figure it out. What we need to start off with is opening up on the silver side, and then we are going to move these silver pieces around so that this one is down here. We'll turn it over onto the gold side, and we're going to move this, uh, this one over here round so it's down and then up into this corner over here. So over on the silver side, we're going to rotate the disc and position this one over here. That looks fine. And then on this side, what we're going to do now is move this one back up. So we're going to need to move that one in, down, over and back up onto the silver side again and Uh, we're going to try and bring this silver piece up to here, back onto the gold side. Then we're going to flip it over onto the silver side again. We're going to come down and we are then going to just leave it in that position as we turn it over. The gold pieces need to be moved around. This one needs to come just out onto that position there. And we can bring it up on the middle track. And then you can see, you might be tempted at this point to try and shoot for the exit, but it's not possible just to do it all at one time. So we need to keep working the pieces backwards and forwards. So we're going to come in on this one, rotate it around here. Flip it over, we've got the gold on the outside track now. We're going to bring that round until this one can be pulled further out. Bring this one in, rotate around, and we can bring this one in a little bit. We're not going to take it on the right on the inside track, we're going to take it on the middle track there, back onto the gold side again, and we can rotate further to get it into this position here. Back onto the silver side, and now it looks very close here to be able to get in the solution on here, but we're actually going to go backwards a step. So we're going to come back up to here. We're going to move it in, go on the inside track to here, back onto the gold side again. We're going to move it very close again to the solution here on the gold side. So we're definitely making progress as we move through these steps. We can almost, almost get it to the end here. But we're going to go backwards a little step again, out, and then forwards again. So very, very close here, but not quite there. We need to get around this bend here. We need to come back, up, and then back down. And here we are at the solution. We can remove the gold disc. Oh, and at the same time, flip it over, and we've also solved for the silver disc. And there we go, medallion solved. So, which was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. I think for me, it has to be tube, takes it over medallion. I just like the contemporary look of it. It's quite a unique solution, fairly simple, but quite tricky to find if you've not done puzzles before. If you want to check them out, they are both available. Medallion is limited, as I mentioned, but is available at the time of recording. I'll leave a link in the description for those ones. Thanks very much for joining me today, though, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.